Try your hand at driving on dirt. Dirt surfaces only provide low grip and have bumps, so you can't drive them in the same manner as a paved road. Start turning the steering earlier than when driving on tarmac and control the direction of the car with both steering and throttle operations. Be careful not to overspeed into a corner and go too wide. Continuing from lesson 41, try driving through a corner on dirt. Again, turn the steering early on entry to the turn, and use the steering, throttle and brakes to control the car while cornering. When the car slides out, counter steer is effective, but on dirt you must make the most of the tyre grip. The key is to minimise both the sliding and the counter steer. Make sure that the car doesn't become too sideways against the direction of travel easing off of the throttle and using the brakes to control the amount of slide.
Try making a big satisfying jump. When making a big jump with a car on a dirt track, you must be wary of the car's orientation upon landing. If the car is at an angle in a jump, its orientation will become really skewed when it lands and can cause you to crash. Make sure the car and the steering are straight when entering a big jump and aim to make a stable landing. Try taking on a consecutive corner on dirt. As a rule, you want to reduce speed adequately before the corner and turn the steering early. To maximize the grip of the tires, it is important to control the amount of sliding so that the car does not begin to face sideways. Control the car so that it will clip the apex on both corners. Try driving a consecutive corner that becomes tighter as you go further in. The rule of thumb is the same here. You want to reduce speed properly before entering the corner and turn the steering wheel early. Control the angle of the car and the amount of sliding. Be especially careful of sliding too much at the final corner and losing speed.
Let's try drifting, where you go around corners while intentionally sliding the tyres. The lesson will start in the middle of a drift, so apply counter steer immediately to avoid spinning out. Also use the throttle at the same time to control the amount of tyre slide. Be careful of running off the track, as this will reset your drift points to zero.
By now, you should be able to not only drive on a circuit safely, but also have the skill to shorten your lap times. Utilize all the knowledge you've picked up so far in a one lap time attack around a track.